It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make black candy apples. This video was requested, so I hope you all are excited. And if you're ready to get started, let me show you how it's done. Now I'm using a larger recipe, which is six cups of sugar, one and a half cup of water, and one and a half cup of light corn syrup. I also have my apple sticks and straws and all the supplies I will leave in the link below. Now here is a medium pot that I'm going to use, a mat, you gotta have a silicone spoon, and the food coloring. Yep, I have a black diamond and a lemon yellow. And here are my already clean apples. If you wanna learn how to clean your apples properly, check out the link right at the top and just click on there. So we're gonna prep our apples and we're gonna apply the apple sticks. So what I'm using is a 6.5 by 5.0 and the width is the 5.0. This is the size sticks you need for the straw to fit over or any decorated straw to fit over these particular sticks. And the links will be listed in the description box below this video. Now, once you have finished inserting all your sticks and straws, you want to take a piece of paper towel or a cloth towel and wipe around the top of your apple to make sure there's no juice sitting there and this will help prevent those bubbles. Now let's start adding in our ingredients, our sugar, our water, and our corn syrup. Remember, this is six cups of sugar, one and a half cup of water, and one and a half cup of light corn syrup. After you have added to your medium sized pot, you wanna give it a mix as you see here. And then we're going to insert our Candy thermometer, you want your mix to reach to 300 degrees. Make sure the tip of the thermometer does not touch the bottom of the pot. And you wanna cook this to medium high heat and then remove at 300 degrees. Now I'm gonna be flavoring my candy mixture with a lower end oils flavoring. I normally add it at 250 degrees or you can add it at the end of your mixture it will be fine if you add it at the beginning it do cook down and won't be as strong now adding in the mixture as you see the mixture starts to slow up remove your thermometer place it in a cup of water to remove that extra candy mix now we're going to add the food coloring food coloring i'm starting off with is a lemon yellow you can use just a regular yellow and add in one to two drops of the Chef Masters white or any liquid gel white food coloring. Now I'm adding in three drops of the diamond black. Now the reason I add in the yellow is to offset the purple tone that shows up in black apple sometimes. So there may be a slight purple tone, but you don't want to add too much of the coloring because it will thicken your mixture. So you have to be careful. And yes, I started back adding the white because if you notice or if you don't notice, it is a little bit of transparency there. So I add white to take away that transparency and give me a full black colored apple. So now we are ready to dip. Tilting the pot and inserting my apple and do a rotating turn. I know y'all love that rotating turn. It just does something for me and I know it do something for you. But you wanna drizzle any extra candy mixture that you have coming from your apple. And I normally just scrape off the side of the pot and then place it on your silicone mat or wax paper. Look at that shine. You see that black? satisfying now once all your apples have been dipped you can place them into your packaging sit them on the counter if they have been properly cleaned or you can put them in the refrigerator in your while you have them in your packaging 
Now we are ready to decorate. Now here I have my Kabuki brush or Wilton's brush, whatever you want to call it. I dampened my brush with water, added some glitter to the brush and started to apply the gold edible leaf just to give it a look glitz and glam and some just some glitter just to give it some nice beautiful decorations so i hope you all have enjoyed this video as much as i have enjoyed showing you and remember to like comment and subscribe and be ready for the next video and i'll see you in the next video